Hi, and welcome to the installation video for the hybrid distribution enclosure known as the HDE. The HDE is a compact, small footprint surface mount enclosure intended for indoor installations, requiring up to 12 fibers and 12 copper power conductors. It includes a robust ABS thermoplastic polymer box housing a 12 fiber mini splice tray, a 12 port LC adapter strip, and a 12 circuit power terminal block. Should you decide to mount the HDE onto a wall, you can use the four ear brackets and screws that are provided in the hardware kit, as shown here. To install them, simply screw in the ear brackets into each of the four corner holes located on the back of the enclosure, highlighted here. Great, now that you have all four brackets installed, you can go ahead and utilize the mounting holes, shown here, to secure and fasten the enclosure onto a wall. Every hybrid enclosure comes with a hardware kit, test results, and an installation sheet, as shown here. Great, now let's go ahead with the installation. First, remove the adapter strip assembly together with the mini splice tray. Then, proceed to remove the bottom tray holder by unscrewing the three screws, shown here. Next, unscrew both screws from the strain relief bracket and then remove the top rubber, as shown here. Next, remove approximately 55 inches of jacket from the hybrid cable, as shown here. You need six hybrid cables for this example, so apply all these steps to all six. Next, feed the hybrid cables through the entry point and secure them in place by tightening the two screws on the strain relief bracket. With approximately 55 inches of copper and fiber past the entry attachment point, now route and cut the copper appropriately for both incoming and outgoing cables as shown here. Make sure to leave some extra slack for the power cables. Next, connect the power wires to the terminal strip. Now repeat the same procedure with the outgoing power wires and secure them in place with the strain relief bracket. Great job! Next, secure the bottom tray holder back in its place using the three screws. Next, Carefully lift the adapter strip bracket and remove the pigtails from the mini splice tray in preparation for fusion splicing, as shown here. Now secure the access fiber cables by utilizing the integrated cable management on the bottom tray by going clockwise approximately one and a half times, as shown here. Next, make a mark approximately 3 inches and remove the outer jacket, exposing the inner buffer layers in preparation for fusion splicing, using our mini splice tray. To effectively perform a fusion splice, it's required to have the proper tools, such as the Wireworks Fiber Kit Plus. Please follow the steps outlined in our mini splice tray installation video. Great! Once you've performed and secured your fusion splice into the mini splice tray, Attach the adapter strip bracket back onto the mini splice tray by aligning the middle pin and applying some pressure, as shown here. Next, secure it in place with a screw. Both your adapter strip and splice trays are now secure into the enclosure. Now, to secure your patch cords in place, utilize the Velcro bridges. Carefully feed your patch cords through the Velcro loops. And then once your patch cords are inserted, tighten your Velcro loops to secure them in place. That's it. You're done. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can visit our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.wireworks.com.